Hello, it's Pauline here, and today we'll look at how to add sharing buttons to a Squarespace blog post. So the easiest tool that I found for doing this, it's a free account that you can get on a tool called sharethis.com. So I'll put that link for you in the video description. You're going to come to this page and say that you want to activate your share buttons. So activate now. Then you have a choice of the type of buttons. Um, I will show you inline share buttons. So that's the one here top left. And then down here, you have an option that says customize your inline share buttons. So if this is not expanded, click on this and you'll get some more choices. You can do the, um, the smart buttons where they decide what buttons to show, but I prefer, in fact, to decide which um, social platforms my audience is likely to be active on. So click on choose buttons manually. And then down here, you can select or unselect the social network buttons that you want to show up. So just to show you what's going on here, I will... Um, remove WhatsApp and I will also then add, let's see, LinkedIn. Okay, so these now are the buttons that will show up. Alignment, um, I like left, so I'll choose that. Button size, um, yeah, I'm not a fan of huge buttons, so I'll leave this as small. I'll let the color be driven by the social um, platform itself. That all looks good. You can, if you want, show the total number of times that your post has been shared. I will um, add that, but what's nice here is this count won't show up until it gets to, in this case, 10 people having shared it. I'll bring that down a bit, um, but this is nice. You don't need to advertise if not many people have shared your stuff. So that all looks good. At that point, you can click Next. Now, it's time to actually register for your free account. So go ahead and put in some registration details here. Unless you're a mega blogger, your monthly page views uh, is probably going to be the smallest number here. And then as with many other accounts, you will need to um, browse and accept that you're okay with the terms and the privacy policy. So at that point, go ahead and uh, click sign up. Now you'll be shown some code. So in a moment, I will show you where to put this. But one thing to note is you're going to need both the, um, the lines of code that are shown here in step one, and you're also going to need the code that is shown here in step three. So keep this tab or this window open or copy both of these to another location because you will need both these pieces um, in a moment. And then I recommend you keep this screen open in another window or another tab because in a moment we're going to come back and you'll want to do something on your user, on your, um, user dashboard here. Okay, I'm inside a Squarespace blog now. Obviously this is a test blog. It's very simple. Let's take a look inside this first blog post. We just see the very basics here, a headline and some text. So our share buttons are going to end up down here underneath. To do that, come to the overall settings for your blog. So you've probably got some blog posts here. You want this top level one. Um, mine is called blog. Yours might be called something different, but you've got these settings here. And then come to advanced. And we're looking for post blog item code injection. So the bottom one here. And you will need the Squarespace um, business plan to have access to put code in here. So now we're going to paste in both the pieces of code that we were given by um, Share This. So first of all, you're going to copy the piece that says it's the head code, put that in, and then you're going to come back and copy the shorter placement code and put that in as well. Okay, when you've got both those in there, 
click save. And then when you um, allow time for the blog page to refresh, you'll see some nice share buttons have appeared here. So those are the basic steps. If your website is live, you should be able to test that and see that working. If you're not yet live, there's a good chance that you'll need to publish your website um, and have a live blog post before you'll see those buttons completely behaving. So once you've pasted that code to Squarespace and saved it, come back here to share this and click to continue to dashboard. Now they're going to want to know the website name that you want to use these buttons on. So go ahead, you will enter your website name. Put mine in here for now. Click add new domain. And then in the top right of the dashboard that you see here, there's an activate code button. Make sure you click on that. This service is going to go and check that the code is indeed present on your website. Give it a few minutes and then you should find that you've got some nice share buttons that uh, are working well for your audience to share your content.